1,000 horsepower and reliability are words that you don't often hear together all that much, but welcome our newest recruit, a 427 cubic inch small block Ford that's blown and carbureted and destined for our 65 Mustang project car that we like to call biting the bullet. So follow along in this first segment of a two-part video where we try and prove just that goal. Okay, so we might be getting a little ahead of ourselves. Let's take a look at the project car this engine was designed for. It's called Biting the Bullet. Our quest with this project was to walk the fine line between all that horsepower and the reliability needed to cruise the streets. Our 65 Mustang currently has an anemic six cylinder installed in it, but that's all about to change. We teamed up with Dart and SoCal shop QMP Racing to help with our 1,000 horsepower goal with a blow through carbureted combination. But before we take a look at that, let's check out the short block. The heart of our build is Dart's ultra durable Iron Eagle block. Think of the block as armour for a tank. Without it being strong, failure is evident during times of trouble. Dart offers this block 8.2, 9.2 and 9.5 inch deck heights. Going for maximum cubes, we selected a 9.5 deck in a 4.125 bore. Dart recommends a maximum bore of 4.165, though you might not want to go that big if it's a forced induction application. Reinforced head bolt bosses are blind tap to prevent leaks, while extra thick decks prevent head gasket leaks. The block features Dart's proven priority main oiling system that feeds the main bearings before being pumped to the can. The system also promotes better oil pressure and does not need a high pressure pump. The bottom end comes with a large journal, 351 Cleveland mains and splay billet steel four bolt main caps. The rotating assembly of an engine is like a platoon. Each part has a specific set of instructions that must be carried out with precision. If one soldier should step out of line, it could be lights out for everyone. The rotating assembly starts with Ross 4125 9 to 1 dish pistons that are based from a single piece of 2618 billet bar stock that has been heat treated and aged to a T61 condition, just like a fine wine. They are wrapped with a set of file fitted total seal AP steel rings that are among the flattest, tightest tolerance piston rings available. The pistons and rings were hung on a set of Eagle's 6 200 length 4340 H-beam connecting rods with ARP 2000 rod bolts. The rods have been surface treated with Eagle's ESP process that is designed to help shed oil and increase horsepower. To complement the pistons and rods, we went with the Eagle 4340 forged internally balanced 4 inch stroke crankshaft that also features the ESP finishing process. Food, and in a lot of circumstances cigarettes, is what keeps soldiers functioning throughout a war, just like oil in an engine can keep parts lubricated and cool. A properly matched oiling system is crucial to an engine's survival. The Melling High Volume Standard Pressure Oil Pump supplies the additional oil where we need to lubricate our packs and supercharger while retaining standard pressure due to Dart's priority main oil feeding design. The bottom end is covered up with a Canton Extra Capacity Front Sump Oil Pan that is perfect for a street strip application and is secured with ARP fasteners. QMP machined a second key in our crank that was designed for our Innovators West Super Duty Dampener. It's an all new design that sports an upgraded blower hub and larger 3 8 inch hub bolts. Now that you have an idea of the parts that went into our engine, let's take a look at the machining that went into building this bad boy with our general in command, Brad Lagman. Hey, I'm Brad Lagman and I'm the owner of QMP Racing Engines. We started with a dart block, iron block with steel billet caps and all the machining stuff that we do is we check the line home, it's usually pretty good, but we changed it from bolts to studs, so we had to reset the main clearance there. We decked the block to establish our proper deck height. Uh, we went a step further, we put lifter board bushings in it to make sure that the, instead of lifters riding on the iron of the block, it ri actually rides on a bronze bushing. We feel that's better. We can control the clearance better uh, for less oil leakage around the lifter. Bore the block, honed it to work with the total seal AP rings, and that's a pretty good setup for that. I mean, it's a good basis to start with, especially when you're trying to make a lot of power. You want to start with a good product and we try to tell people that and emphasize that, that you want a good piece if you're going to try to make a lot of horsepower without it failing. With all the machining done, it was time to start assembling our short block for war. 
First, QMP pressed the total seal rings into the cylinder bores to check for proper gap and then file fitted the rings accordingly. Being a boosted application, the rings were gapped looser than a naturally aspirated engine. With the rings done, they were fitted with the Ross forged pistons, which were then secured to the Eagle H-beam rods. The first piece that was installed into the block was the Dart coated cam bearings, which come with all of Dart's blocks. The main bearings were then installed on the crank bores and main caps. QMP then secured the forged Eagle crank with the ARP main stud kit that is specifically designed for Dart iron blocks. It was then checked for proper end play before the nuts were completely torqued. With the engine right side up, QMP fit the rod bearings and began to slide each of the hung Ross pistons and Eagle rods into the bores, which are attached on the other end to the Eagle crank. With the short block nearly buttoned up, QMP installed the Melling oil pump and one-piece drive shaft. Attached to the oil pump is a Canton 7-quart capacity front sump oil pan that comes with an integrated crank scraper and slosh baffle. Well there you have it, our short block is shaping up to be a real trooper. On the next segment we'll be finishing up the long block and then the grand finale, the engine dyno. Will we make a thousand horsepower? Tune in to find out. <laughs>